Well, in response to those revelations out of the Panama Papers, 300 prominent economists are calling for new global rules to force companies to report their taxable activities country by country. The Economist addressed a letter to world leaders in an action coordinated by the UK-based charity Oxfam. Among the economists are almost 50 professors from British universities. They argue that the UK should take the lead on transparency because Commonwealth countries and Crown dependencies make up a large proportion of the world's tax havens. Well, TRT World's contributor Miriam Francois joins us now from London for more on this. So Miriam, why is the UK in the spotlight over this issue particularly? Well, um, a lot of countries, are indeed in the wake of the Panama Papers, as we just heard, are in the spotlight. Uh, but on Thursday, the UK is to host an anti-corruption summit. Uh, and so, of course, ahead of that, this uh, Oxfam has coordinated this letter, which has been signed, as you mentioned, by over 300 uh, signatories. Uh, pointing to the need to address this issue of tax havens uh, that allow companies to avoid uh, contributing to tax in the countries in which they're actually operating. So uh, really there's increasing pressure on, on David Cameron in light of this uh, upcoming summit to tackle uh, this issue. A lot of public pressure. Absolutely. And some of the uh, economists who signed this letter, we mentioned future professors, but there are also some rock star economists, as they're called, people like Thomas Piketty are behind this. Do you think we're seeing a moment here for uh, these kind of things to be really tackled properly? Uh, well, uh, if you listen to Jeffrey Sachs, a professor at Columbia and one of the signatories of the letter, uh, although there's a lot of uh, momentum behind this letter and a lot of, I think, public support uh, for changes to be made in order to ensure greater transparency with regards to uh, offshore uh, banking, uh, he seems quite sceptical as to whether or not this will actually lead to change. He seems to think that there are uh, vested interests uh, specifically in the city and in very powerful companies which will uh, ensure that these uh, changes will not uh, come to fruition. But the objective, of course, uh, of this letter is to create uh, global rules, essentially, which would force companies to disclose the location of their taxable activities. Uh, and, of course, on the other side, to force uh, individual country to disclose information about the owners of companies and trusts. And the idea, of course, is to create greater transparency at a global level uh, and to tackle uh, huge losses of revenue for individual countries. I mean, the Oxfam report uh, points to 14 billion lost by Africa, enough to fund healthcare and education on the continent. So significant uh, stakes, really. Absolutely. Well, Miriam, for now, uh, thank you from London.